Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have another one for you. There is going to be some background noise because my son's playing on the trampoline out back with his friends. So if you hear anything, that's all it is. I'm using a Cricut stencil. Again, today I printed it off on my Cricut stencil. If you're wondering what type of stencil vinyl I'm using, I am going to list that in the description of the video. Um, I don't like to use stencils very often, but when I do, this is the stuff I use and it's it sticks easily to the surfaces of my stones. Um, painted, non-painted, resined, non-resined. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just making sure it lays down on the rock properly because there's a curve to it. So I snipped it here and there with some scissors to flatten it out and get rid of any air bubbles. And now I'm going to use black paint and a sponge to put my yin yang flower design on here. Um, so I love the yin yang symbol. It's uh, a mixture half and half of dark and light. Um, evil and good, uh, balance, um, harmony. Without dark, there wouldn't be light. Without the light, there wouldn't be dark. You know what I mean. So I like the yin-yang symbol for many, many reasons. It might mean something different to you, but for me, it's balance. I really, really like it. So you don't always have to do just black and white, but I do like to do a nice contrast. So I'm going to do white, and holographic and I'm going to add some color. So the stencil um, had a very thick uh, lining like the the circle is thick the around the petals was quite thick so I'm going to just do it thin and I'm going to fill in anything where you can see rock um, in the inside of the yin yang symbol that's going to be all filled in with black um, you'll see, you'll see what I do. Um, but basically the whole thing is going to be outlined in gold and we're going to do a design inside the petals and we're going to do a little bit of dotting, uh, in between the petals, but we're not going to go all the way out. <laughs> we're not going to go extra. We're just going to do a little bit of dots, um, uh, on the, on the rest of the rock, but the inside, the color is where the, the dots are gonna be really important. So now I'm doing a little bit of a weird design inside the petals. It's gonna be uh, like a large teardrop, then two small ones on either side. And I'm just gonna wing it. I'm not gonna use a stencil of any kind. I'm just doing the best I can. And I will do some cleanup, which is uh, letting the gold dry and then taking black paint in and thinning out any gold bits that were too thick or where I put gold where I shouldn't have, I can just kind of erase it using the black. Um, and then we'll, we'll do whatever we need to do with the gold first, let it dry, and then work with the black. And just go back and forth. That's all I do, back and forth, black and gold, black and gold. So I'm going to speed this up so that I don't put y'all to sleep. <laughs> um... I just want to apologize. I was hoping to get this up a bit earlier, but I've had a very busy day. Um, so it's a little bit later, but it's still up today. If you're, if, if you're in Canada, it's still today. <laughs> um, so I'm taking my bigger dotting tool and I'm getting into my gold paint. And I'm just putting a big gold dot in between each petal. And then all I'm going to do is walk the dots, two rows of dots, up and around those bigger dots. Now you can steal paint from those bigger dots because why not? It's still wet and there's lots of paint there. So instead of going back and forth to my paint tray, I just steal them from the bigger dots, right? Why not? It's called working smarter, not harder. <laughs> so I'm doing two little rows. I'm just using a smaller dotting tool um, if you want to use a toothpick or, or something like that, that's completely up to you. Um, don't let not having the tools to do this stop you because I'm sure you'll be able to find stuff around the house. Uh, even a pen that doesn't work anymore, a dried out pen, you can use that perfectly for dotting. Um, they work great. Uh, so yeah, I'm just doing that. Two rows. We're going to keep it simple. Nothing too fancy. Because really, 
the inside of the yin yang and the petals is what's the focus here. This is just to kind of finish it off, These this little bit of gold here. Um, also, once these black or once these gold, the larger ones are dry, I uh, will be putting a black dot on top of that. So we're just letting them dry still. There's, you can tell they're still a little bit wet uh, and I don't want to risk ruining anything. And so I'm going to try and be patient. Uh, in the meantime, I'm stretching out my black to the outer edge of the gold. I'm also going to outline those circles inside the yin yang with gold and fill it in with black. You might not see that part. I might have edited it, edited it out. That's very difficult to say. Um, so now I'm doing cleanup. This is basically, like I said, thinning out any areas of gold that were too thick, um, where I might have put gold that I didn't want to. If you're not good with fine lining, this is one way to trick people. <laughs> people are always like, oh, how did you, did you use a pen? Is there some kind of paint pen that you use? No, uh, it's just a lot of back and forth between black and gold to make it look like I had a very thin line of gold. Um, I just think it looks very almost fragile and pretty, dainty, um, intricate. I like that. So I like my, my gold lines to be fine, fine gold lines, not just regular gold lines. They fine. Um, so this is what I was talking about with the gold here. And then on the inside of that, it's going to be all black. I'm going to fill it right in. Um, and then we're going to, we're going to start with dots. Now, like I said, one part of the yin yang is dark and one is light, or there is just a major contrast. So we're going to be doing bright white dots on one half. Wow, they're having a really good time out there. <laughs> it's a little scary. Um, but yeah, one half is going to be bright white dots, and the other half is going to be holographic powder, like a rainbow of color. Um, now I am outlining the petals with black because I'm kind of separating them from the rock um, but I'm not going to outline any of the other gold dots or anything like that just completely leave those ones alone just outline the petal okay I've shut my window so maybe it's a little bit quieter for you guys um, but now you can see my gold paint is dry so I'm adding a smaller black dot I want to still see a ring of gold around it so make sure you keep your black dot small enough um, just making sure that I've got my black paint covered totally there couldn't see through my rock anywhere my gold and black is dry and here's where we put in the bright white dots now if you guys saw my tutorial from yesterday I'm gonna kind of do the same procedure. So I start with bigger dots with my biggest dotting tool and then I'm going to go in with medium dots, get a smaller tool, then I go in and make the smallest dots afterwards and fill in all the black space. So you'll see that happening and then we're going to leave those dots and let them dry really really well. Um, now with a yin yang, you do one part like this, and then you have to make sure that you match that part with the circle that's on the other side, on the other half. So you'll see where I'm going to put in white dots on, on the little circle. It's hard for me to explain. And once again, no technical terms were known by Rachel, <laughs> but this is what I mean. I'm, you got a matchy matchy, right? It's a yin yang symbol. So everything has to match evenly, um, balanced out in harmony. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's what I meant by that. But I just don't know how to explain myself. Don't come for me. <laughs> I hope everyone is doing well. 
I have missed you all very much. Glad that I was able to get this one up today, even though it's running late. Um, but I, it makes me happy to put these out there for you guys and, and give you guys some, some ideas. Um, things are good on my end. I'm feeling happy. I The comments that were coming in yesterday, the, the people telling me that I even sound happier, I, I really am. I'm, I'm feeling way more positive about um, life, I guess, life in general. I'm trying not to let anything get me down. Um, but there are good days and bad days. I'm having a good one. Jack's having a fantastic one by the sounds of it. <laughs> um, and people were asking as well as my, my, my oldest son, Landon, how he's doing. He's doing well. He just doesn't reside with me anymore because he's, uh, moved out on his own and being a grown up. I hate it. <laughs> it's very upsetting. Um, I miss him like crazy, but when I get to see him, it's, it's an amazing time. So he's doing great. And, uh, and yeah, so I thought I'd add that in there. Now, as you can see, I've started in on the petals inside of the teardrops. I'm adding a bright red. Now you can use whatever bright red you have in your inventory. I will list what colors I'm actually using in the description of my video like I always do. I'm going to add some magenta and I'm using a smaller dotting tool by the way. Um, very small. We're not worried about going in with big dots then medium dots then small dots. Okay, This is just really small dots. That's it. I'm using a dotting needle or one of my smaller dotting tools for this area. So I just kind of mingled in some magenta with the with the red there, just at the edge of the red. Then I will be adding a couple of other colors, I think honeysuckle and pure pumpkin. Um, so here's the honeysuckle. And once again, use whatever colors you, you want to use for this. But if you really like the look of the thumbnail, this is what colors you have to choose. But keep in mind as well, this rock is going to go really, really dark, like black, when I seal it with resin. So this is going to change the look of things as well. Um, but not only that, I will show you at the end, before I show you this resin, I'll show you another version of this exact painting but it's on a white or lighter colored stone that is circular. Um, it looks totally different. So depending on what color surface you're painting this on, what shape, what size, it's going to look totally different. Um, even if you keep the exact same color scheme. And I'm just going to show that to you after. Um, so now you can see I've got honeysuckle added on to the magenta. Then I've got some pure pumpkin. And then where you can see any other black space inside the petal, that's all going to be two shades of blue. So we're going to have a little bit of a drift. Whoops, whoops. Sorry. Sorry, that's Landon right there. <laughs> i got to turn my notifications off. Um, but yeah, so it's there's going to be two different shades of blue. It's going to be a drift and Cayman blue. And that's what's going to be filling in this tiny, tiny area. I'm using a dotting needle here. And it, it sounds like my children are being murdered, but they're not. They're just playing on a trampoline. It's nice though, because he's getting his energy out. <laughs> so you can see I'm only going so far with the adrift. And then the rest I'm going to fill in with Cayman blue. And I know it's like weird, like Rachel... Why these colors? What, what do you, what do you see in that? But you'll see, it looks really nice. Just, just trust me. <laughs> it's the worst time to trust somebody is when they say trust me. Um, trust the process. It's gonna look really, really pretty. So here comes the Cayman blue. I of course have sped this up, or y'all be sleeping. Um, hopefully, uh, phew, I was worried that it was gonna be really blurry for a minute there. Um, but as you can see, that blue 
came in blue and a drift, they just go super nice together. Just kind of changes it so much. And wait till you see with the holographic sparkle. Where you see black, you will see holographic sparkle. So the black dots in between the petals are going to be holographic as well as inside the yin yang symbol where you see black that's holographic so i am i filled it all in one more petal to go with came in blue i really want to know what you guys think of this uh in the comments make sure you let me know uh, a lot of you usually do there's a consistent amount of people who who let me know what they think. So I appreciate that. I always want to know your honest opinion or if there's something that you wish I would have done differently, I'd like to take those ideas and work with them. So just so you know, um, no children were harmed during the making of this tutorial. <laughs> I promise. So everything's dry. You really want to make sure it's dry before you start this process because we're going to be like sweeping over it with a brush um, to get rid of extra glitter and stuff like that. So you want to make sure not only your white dots are completely dry, but also if you've had to fix any gold, make sure that's dry. And of course, your little dots in the petals, the color, uh, the colorful dots. Make sure everything is dry or else you're really going to upset yourself um, at this point and in this part. So I'm using... UV top coat from Amazon. It will be listed in the description. Um, I buy the cheapest kind I can because I literally just using it on my rocks. I'm allergic to it, so I should be using gloves, but I'm not. So I just slapped my own hand. Bad Rachel. Uh, always use gloves, please. I um, am just putting a few drops on with the actual brush right out of the bottle, like a few blobs of it. And then I'm working it around and maneuvering it to the edges um, and putting it everywhere I need it to go. And I have to go quickly just in case it's going to start like rolling down the side of the rock, um, which you can see at the top of the rock. I dripped some. Um, we're not even going to see that, so don't even worry about it. Once I seal it with resin, you're not even going to know that's there. Um, but just don't get any holographic powder stuck to it. <laughs> if you do get the top coat anywhere you didn't want to just don't get the holographic powder on it and it won't even be noticeable once you seal it so anywhere that's black is going to be holographic so i'm going to do the inside of the yin yang symbol first and then the black dots in between the petals so i'm putting it under my uv light for about 120 130 seconds so that it's ready for this stuff, which is Born Pretty Holographic Powder. And I'm using a little makeup sponge and I'm gonna move it on here in like little circular motions and it just kind of sticks to that UV gel. It doesn't feel sticky, but the glitter sticks to it for some reason. It just adheres to this type of surface. So, and then you don't have to put it back under the light after this. It's done. You just seal it when you're done, your rock. Because um, it just sticks to that and stays there. So it looks really pretty. You can already see almost a rainbow. Um, looks super nice. I will move it around for you so you can see it a little bit better. But now I'm just using my little desk broom. And I'm sweeping away any extra holographic, holographic holographic glitter um, so that it's not sitting on any other bark parts of the rock. I don't want it there. I only wanted it where I put it. So I sweep the rest off and now I'm going to do like three dots at a time of these black dots between the petals just in case they start rolling down the side of the rock. I want to do it quickly so I'm just going to do three at a time and put them under the light three at a time and then they're done and then we can seal it so we're almost done here so please tell me what colors you decided to choose if you didn't like mine um I'd, I'd really like to see it um everything's covered 
Oh, look at that. Look at that rainbow. It looks so pretty. It looks so pretty. I'm going to just sign this. Then I'm going to resin it. And then I'm going to show it to you tomorrow once it's dry. Well, for you today. But for me, it was tomorrow. And then right now I'm going to show you the one that I told you about, which is a lighter colored stone and it's circular, but this is the exact same design. But look at how different that looks. Isn't that fantastic? Like, wait till you see the one that we just did once it's been resined. It's going to look totally different. You might not even recognize it because it does change when you seal it with resin. And here it is. It looks totally different. It also seems less, um, like the holographic part seems less colorful because of the way we're under the sun. Um, but I promise you, it is still just as dramatic as it was before I resined it. Nothing's changed. Just everything is all sealed tightly uh, under this glass coat. Um, it's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. Tell me what you think. Isn't it gorgeous? It is going into my shop, um, I think, tomorrow. Also, the Hope Stone that we just did a tutorial on the day before. Um, so look for those in there. And I will see you guys very soon. I love you. Keep painting.